Well, hello, good people. Today, we're going to take a look at style reference for Leonardo Phoenix, as well as the new ultra mode upscaler. Now, for those of you that use Leonardo AI, you might be thinking, well, we've had style transfer all this time. Well, which is true. However, for Phoenix, it wasn't available until yesterday. Now, if you want to use a generated image as your reference photo, hover over it and click on image guidance, and then you'll see style transfer here. You can go ahead and click there, or you can click on this icon here select style reference and then here you can upload the image that you want to use now i use this particular image here we're just going to hit confirm now if we select it here you'll be given some options low medium high ultra and max so obviously the lower it is the less influence the style is going to have the higher it is the more intense that style is going to be here are some examples in the low setting you'll notice the colors and the textures are very faint it still makes a great image but obviously the influence of the reference image is still very low now i am using the same seed to do these comparisons so here it is at the medium setting here it is at high and you're going to notice especially with the clouds in the reference image they're really starting to come through but you'll also notice the contrast and the saturation is also getting stronger and deeper and then here we have it at the ultra setting now the sky and the clouds are really coming through the same images at the max setting so depending on your image you might want to play around with the severity of the strength but it's pretty straightforward it works the same way as usual it's just now it's compatible with the leonardo phoenix model i just wanted to show you one more example i took one of these images as a reference and i created some of these tiger images as you can see it adopts the colors and the textures of the images without really having to prompt for them so it's very useful if you want to transfer one style to another image it's kind of like having a laura without training a laura next we're going to take a look at image to image we're going to do the same thing use as image guidance input and we're going to select image to image then when we click on here you see now we have a strength slider now if you set it to a low strength it's going to be more creative but if you put it higher it's going to look more like the original i'm going to leave it on 30 because i do want it to be somewhat creative Let's go ahead and generate. And we see here the results at a strength of 0.3. If you look at the smaller details like the sparkles in the background, you'll see that they vary quite a bit there, but the overall composition looks pretty much the same. Slight changes to the background and color. At an image strength of 0.15, you see there's a bit more creativity, a bit more variance. So that tells me with Leonardo Phoenix, it's okay to use those lower strengths to get more creativity. Like a lot of these stable diffusion models, you just put it to 0 0.3 0 0.4 and it's like totally different but with phoenix you'll have to really crank that low setting to get more creativity now just a few weeks ago they also released the new ultra upscaler and you can access it in a couple of different ways you can hover over your generated image click on upscale image you'll see at the top corner here for ultra then you have two styles realistic and artistic so if you're doing photorealism choose realistic for more creative artistic stuff you want to click on that your multiplier is a maximum of two and then we have advanced settings creativity strength details contrast and similarity if you don't want the image to change too much just leave it on default but if you want to add some details you can crank up the strength all the way up to 10 which is usually too much in most cases contrast is self-explanatory and similarity you want to lower it if you want it to be slightly different from the original and the higher the number it's going to honor the original you can also access the upscaler on the main page here at the very top on the header or on the side menu you'll see universal upscaler it works pretty much the same way you can switch between a legacy or ultra mode and we have the same options here on the left and i want to show you a couple examples here that i did i'm going to zoom in pretty tight here so we can look at the details if you click on the top right upscale details it tells you the settings that you use for this particular upscale so here the creativity was set to five artistic using ultra and if you look at the finer details here you see that it gives it just a bit more edge more definition 
This was using a creativity slider of 10. You can see all the little extra particles and details it gives it, especially in this area here. You see how now it looks like some sort of creature on the shoulder pad, which is really cool. And also just these extra little details around the uh, Android here, like little splashes and bubbles of water. If we do a side by side, you can see the differences here. Now it won't necessarily be better if you use a really high creativity, it depends on the image that you're doing. But in this particular image, you see with a creativity of 10, yeah, that was way too much. Looks pretty ugly. <laughs> now in this situation, what did I use here? Yeah, a creativity strength of 10. Here it looks more like a, a liquid type of texture, even the details of the outfit. So it gives it a very nice artistic feel. But oftentimes for just a subtle upscale, you might want to just maybe try a creativity strength of seven just to give a bit more definition. Like if we look at her eyes and the jewelry, you see how more defined it is. If we look at the umbrella here on the left, just gives it that little extra push. Now, as always, folks, let me know what you think in the comments below. Now, it's been a while since I've done some Leonardo AI content. So if there's anything you want me to cover, let me know in the comments below. Until that next video, my friends, I'll see you when I see you.